The way we make things is changing, radically. A new set of ideas and trends have emerged and combined to create a new industrial revolution, one led by people and human innovation. They're using ideas like collaborative design teams and leaner, more customizable manufacturing. Once upon a time, a factory made one thing. Now, a factory can make almost as many things as there are people to imagine them. From Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Metric Automotive Engineering has invested in a factory expansion as well as several new technological innovations to increase its machining and remanufacturing capabilities and capacity for earth moving and surface mining equipment. Mia Breitenbach tells us more. Metric Automotive Engineering first started its expansion drive about three years ago to enhance its service offering for surface mining and earth moving operation equipment that require repairs or remanufacturing to original equipment manufacturer specifications. The company has noted a shift in the needs of OEM and earth moving and mining clientele for an upgrade in the service offering including the need for strict machining tolerances from engineering companies. There's been a huge swing to engines that are electronically controlled and with that there's a whole group of new technologies. The driver behind a lot of that is emissions and efficiency. Um, you can control an engine a lot better through electronics than you can mechanically. Um, the result of that is they're producing more power with less fuel, with less emissions. In order to do that, the OEMs have cut the running clearances and tolerance, machining clearances down significantly. So it's changed the market's needs in that when they have components remanufactured, the remanufacturing tolerances are very tight and if they are using service providers that don't have equipment that can deal with that correctly, the repairs or remanufactured components are not going to conform to OEM spec and when those engines are assembled and run and tested and further down the line when they're put into production, issues are going to arise. The acquisition of several new machines includes a Tiaratec ultrasonic MOT750 cleaning machine, the Berco 575 crankshaft grinder and the Rotler F100 series 3 axis computer numerically controlled machine. We introduced ultrasonic cleaning for components. It reduces the time that it takes to, to clean components. It's more environmentally friendly and it's far more efficient and effective. Um, that gives us clean components that we can inspect better, make better calls and judgment calls and measurements on, and it also allows us to machine better. We've invested in a new grinding machine that allows us to cope with the longer and bigger shafts that have been introduced uh, by the OEMs. And we've invested in a CNC, three axis CNC machine that can also cope very comfortably with the size of the engine blocks that have been introduced by the OEMs. Both of those have been introduced to deal with the size, also to help us with capacity and throughput. We have the capabilities now with our three axis CNC machine to reverse engineer blueprint, um, write CAD programs. That allows us to do stock standard repairs off a CAD program. So we're getting repeatability, which is critical, and we can maintain our tolerances and we can produce a quick turnaround time. Turnaround time is key in earth moving and mining. Part of what prompted the acquisitions is the use of larger engines in earth moving and surface mining equipment, which means that larger engine blocks and crankshafts need to be machined. However, these machine acquisitions are also unique in Africa, according to York. On the crankshaft grinder, um, there hasn't been a machine of this capacity introduced into this country in the last 35 years. So we're bringing in the latest generation crankshaft grinder. It's new, it has very fine tolerances, which means our grinding tolerances can be maintained. That's a critical factor in grinding a shaft. We've coupled that with compensators, air compensators, to help us in our grinding process. They're the only compensators in Africa, so we're offer, able to offer a, a service there that no one else can provide in Africa. And it, it's all just moving towards the tolerances and how close we can stick to the OEM specification that's required to remanufacture a component. 
on the, the three axis CNC machine that we brought in. It's one of ten in the world, it's the only one in Africa. And it's just given us capabilities, repeatability that no one can match. Other news making headlines this week. The South African manufacturing sector receives a 1.4 billion rand boost from Unilever's new facility. Adding to its almost 4 billion rand investment in the South African consumer goods manufacturing space over the last four years, international group Unilever has officially unveiled its fourth South African production facility in Boxburg, Johannesburg. An investment that we've made here in three new factories since 2011 is obviously more than its fair share if you look at all these numbers in any country and it reflects the confidence that we have in the country and in its economic progress over the longer term. Four billion rands, sounds like a lot of money to me, four billion rands invested in this and this factory is another great example again, more importantly creating a thousand jobs. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.